Hey guys, it's Monday. It's Motivational Monday. It's your girl, Coach Patrice. Come on in here. Let's have a conversation. <laughs> All right, so today's topic, I'm going to talk to you about the top three reasons why the scale isn't moving, why you're not losing weight despite you going to the gym, despite you eating the things that, you know, people say you should eat when you're work, trying to lose weight. You're trying to figure out, like, what's happening, what's going on. So the number one reason, and these are actually not in this no particular order, but the first reason is lack of sleep, not getting adequate sleep. To be honest, not getting adequate sleep could actually cause weight gain because what tends to happen, you're extremely fatigued throughout the day, which is going to increase your appetite because you're going to want to get some food in your system to give you some energy. And additionally to that, you're going to have a less effective workout because again, you're already going into things fatigue. So even though you're checking the box every day, you're making sure you go get on that treadmill, you go during that workout, your output and your energy output in it is not going to be as advantageous. And then the last uh, reason of that, more on a scientific base, it throws your body off and you have a hormonal imbalance. And we have a hormonal imbalance, that's when you start to have the increased appetite, this if fatigue, and that's what actually causes the weight gain. In the conversation of the hormone imbalance, that brings me to number two, our second reason why, and that's stress. This one I cannot stress enough, no pun intended. No, seriously, this one is a really, really big one because in a lot of spaces, you're like, I'm eating the right things, I'm going to the gym three times a week, like what is happening? But again, like I said, when your hormones are off, it affects your metabolism with stress. That is two different types of hormones, and I won't like over science you with the one that affects your sleep and the one that affects your stress. But the one that affects your stress directly impacts your metabolism. And as you know, as your metabolism slows down, that is what causes the weight gain. You want your metabolism to be quick, so when you're eating food, you're gonna eat the food, extract the nutrients, and eliminate the waste, right? But if your metabolism is slow, that's when you'll be like, man, I'm just not hungry. I don't even really be hungry. Or you may be good with just eating a bag of chips, maybe some junk food or something like that that's not really fulfilling and giving you the nutrients that you need. So that's number two. The very last thing, which I think is the most important, hands down you're consistently inconsistent so you're doing the things you need to do monday through friday the weekend comes and you're like i deserve <laughs> i deserve x i deserve a drink i deserve this so your body in theory is a representation of 80 percent of what you do but everybody knows you got to do something different to get something different so coming out the gates only giving yourself 80 percent or in some cases 70% because you already ate a cheat meal during the week and did this and then you blow the whole weekend. Being consistently inconsistent with that is going to directly impact your results. So when you're ready to lock in, do just that. Lock completely in so you can see the benefit and the fruits of your labor because nothing is worse than dragging yourself in the gym, being sore, not eating all your favorite foods, maybe having one or two, but not eating all your favorite foods and then the scale doesn't move. <laughs> then you're mad. You're like, what in the world is happening here? So make sure that your consistency is not a Monday through Friday thing. It goes from Sunday to Sunday. You're meal prepping Sunday to Sunday. So that way you're positioning yourself to win. So I'm going to go over the three one more time. I'm going to give you a quick recap of the three, three reasons, excuse me, the three reasons why you are not reaching your weight loss goals despite going to the gym and eating healthy. And I'm saying healthy because you know what point three is, okay? So the first one is not getting adequate sleep. Not getting adequate sleep can throw off your hormones. And what it does is you kind of have this fatigue on you throughout the day. And sometimes people don't even realize it because you've just adjusted to being able to just navigate your day being in that fatigue space. But it directly impacts your appetite and it directly impacts your output in certain things as far as exercise. You're not able to maximize it. And you may or may not even realize it because you haven't had the adequate sleep to be able to have that as a comparator. You only have the lethargic version of you that has shown up to your workouts, to the gym and things like that. So talking about the hormone imbalance, again, we're going to go straight into stress. Stress is a big one. Stress always kills people when it comes to weight loss because it's the one thing people don't consider. They don't think about that. So 
Again, going back to the hormonal imbalance, it is going to throw off your metabolism. And depending on the person, it can increase or decrease your appetite. It just depends on the person. Some people can like overly indulge in like emotional eat, or some people will just totally like almost flatline and not eat at all. Again, a direct impact on you reaching your goals. And then number three, which again, in my opinion, is the most important. Number three is you being consistently inconsistent. Stop showing up for yourself when it's convenient. It's going to be difficult to go to the Friendsgiving and the parties and all the things and not eat something. It is going to be difficult, but it's not impossible. You have to do something different to get something different. So show up for yourself consistently. Give yourself an opportunity to really see the fruits of your labor by continuing to show up for yourself Sunday through Sunday. Not a Monday through Friday thing. Not 5 o'clock Friday. You literally shut your brain off for your health and wellness and it doesn't turn back on until Sunday night when you start meal prepping. Those are my three tips, you guys. Feel free, again, to drop something in the comments if you have any questions. If you say, hey, I know you didn't give me all the details and the science about the hormones, but I want to know which ones they are. I can tell you that, too. Or if you say, I like conversations like this. Can we talk about more topics like this? I'm always open. I want to know more. I want to hear back from you. I look forward to hearing from you soon. Peace and blessings, guys. Happy Monday.